Well, good morning from the beautiful Boondor wetlands in Queensland, Australia. So for those who were watching my channel last week, I did a video on my favourite focus settings when it comes to the Nikon D850 for bird and wildlife photography. This video today is a follow-on from that. It's going to be putting those focus settings in practice. Another reason why I'm here today also is because the brand new Environment Centre has just opened up town here as well. So I just want to go and check that out and I might take you guys for a bit of a tour and have a look at that as well. So I've got a beautiful morning here, the sky is clear. I can hear the birds are out singing, so let's go and have some fun. So now one thing I forgot to do in last week's video is tell you about the actual camera settings that I use when it comes to bird and wildlife photography. With the Nikon D850, you need to put it onto AFC, which stands for Auto Focus Continuous. To do that, you need to hold in the button here and just use your thumb to use this dial and you switch it across and that should switch it onto AFC. Now the other thing I'm gonna be doing today is shooting in shutter priority mode. I've set the camera to one two thousandth of a second. Ugh, one two thousandth. That's a good one. One two thousandth. Let me try it again. One two thousandth. I'll get there. What I do is I set up the camera to one two thousandth of a second and then I set my ISO to 64 and I have a maximum on the ISO setting it at auto to 1000. And what that does is it keeps the grain down on the pictures. Now, the other thing I also like to do is just leave the camera in CH, which means continuous high. That means I can hold down the shutter button, fire away, and it will get, I think with this one, it'll get probably about seven frames per second. There's an Ibis just having a feed. He's not doing much, so I'm just gonna use that single point autofocus just on that middle finger. Here we go. Up here, we've got a couple of Ibises flying along. I'm just gonna use that group area autofocus. I'm holding down the button and just following him in flight. What do we got up here? What's this little guy doing? Here he is. He's right above me at the moment. What is he doing? Got a little noisy minor bird. He's just sitting there minding his business. These are the guys that were flying over before. So these are the sacred kingfishers here in Australia. They are absolutely beautiful. They've got a wonderful blue wing set on them. He's just playing hide and seek with me at the moment though. Here he is, just through there. Single point autofocus. Fortunately, I've just got a bit of stuff right. Oh, I think I've got a clear shot straight through here. Here he is. So at the moment, I'm just using that single point autofocus, putting it right onto the top of his head. There he goes. So we've got basically Australia's favourite bird here is the kookaburra. He was just on the track. I'm going to just walk very slowly around and see if I can get a better shot of him. But he was on the walking track and he was sitting right off my shoulder and then all of a sudden he just took off. Yeah, he's still there. Just hang there for me, buddy. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love their bit of a blue plumage on their wings as well. He's just sussing out what I'm doing. So what I did there was I actually used the um, 25 point autofocus and I shot through these trees. So I've got a bit of the trees out of focus in the foreground. So this is telling me I'm at uh, ISO 640. Oh, he's looking at me. And I've got uh, one two thousandth of a second at F5.6. Here we go. So I've actually got another kookaburra right here in front of me. He's just sitting here checking me out. Once again, I'm just gonna use my single point autofocus. He's looking straight at me. Oh, I love these guys. So I'm getting a ISO reading of 560, 5.6 at one two thousandth of a second. 
Ah, uh, he's just flown away. Oh, actually, it's better. He's flown down to a lower spot, a lower thing. He Actually, I think he sees... I've got a feeling he sees some food. There's just a bit of patch of sunlight just hitting his face. So once again, thank goodness I had this at half mast. Had a bird just flying straight over top of me. Once again, group area focus, thumb on that button and fire away. Okay, so just walking out on another boardwalk here. Nice wetlands. And by the looks of it, I can just see just around here, there is another bird hide. So let's see what I can see at that one. So I'm just going to keep a bit quieter now because I've got a whole heap of bird life out here and I just don't want to scare them off. Once again, I'm just using that uh, single point autofocus in this situation. Just going to be very, very quiet. How cool are these guys' legs? So I've just made it into the hide here. I've got a fantastic shot straight out here, straight through this opening, and you, well, you see these guys, they are beautiful. So these guys are just having a bit of a feed. I just love the fact that it's low tide, I've got the reflection of the bird in the water, and being able to capture that just still motion looks fantastic. Once again, in this one, I'm using group area focus because they are moving a little bit. So because it's low tide, all the birds are now coming in and they're just feeding off the flats, which is great for me. So, oh, look at this reflection of the sky. I've got these little black wing stilts right in low tide, having a feed just in the foreground here. And I'm getting this magic reflection in the still water. So I just had a crack. There was an osprey coming down to grab a fish out of the water. I think I've got it. Um, but I, I don't think I got it when it captured the fish. I think it got it just as its talons were out to grab the fish. So I've got a bunch of these little guys come over here now and they're just feeding in the shallows right in front of me. Okay, so these little guys, these little guys are taking off now. I'm just going to hold down and follow them and we'll see how that one goes. You should have seen how fast they were going. They were moving. So these little guys out here, these little black wing stilts are having a bit of a fight. So here they go. They're going to come at it again. Oh, that's so cool. He is not liking this other guy. So out here I've got a bunch of seagulls and a bunch of black wing stilts and I think they're having a bit of a, a gang fight. But then at the moment above them they've got about three ospreys circling over top so it's probably making you a bit uneasy as well. Wow these walks go on for ages. Here he is. Just single point autofocus on this guy. Wow, he is just so quick. With the bird photography done, it was time to hit up the new environment center. The center educates people all about the wetlands and the diversity of flora and fauna. They also have displays you can interact with. This is so cool, you get to learn all about the different bird species here. You just scroll through each one just via a hand movement. So that was a bit of fun at the Boondor Wetlands using those focus settings that I talked about in last week's video. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Always feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time.